In this TaxLayer Pro training video, we'll discuss the Taxes to Go mobile app and working with app submitted returns within the tax software. First, pulling a branded app return into the Pro Web version. To pull a branded app return into Pro Web, you'll need to click on the branded app queue from the welcome page of your Pro Web account. This will bring up a list of every branded app client you have under your EFIN that has not been claimed in the program. In the list, you'll have the option to claim the return. Claiming the return will take you directly into the personal information section to begin the tax return. From this point, you'll complete the return as normal. To access the uploaded documents for the user, you'll need to select the client's name from inside the tax return and choose Scanned Documents. From there, you can download the documents and use them to complete the tax return. Next, pulling a generic app return into the Pro Web version. To pull a generic app return into Pro Web, you'll need to click on Import App User from the welcome page of your Pro Web account. From there, you'll need to enter the email address and six digit import code for the client. Once you import the app return, you'll complete the return as normal. To access the uploaded documents for the user, you'll need to select the client's name from inside the tax return and choose Scanned Documents. From there, you can download the documents and use them to complete the tax return. Next, using the chat feature in ProWeb. The chat feature in ProWeb is available at the bottom of the screen. When there are new chats, it will show as a notification. This feature is only available for the clients once you start the app return in your program. Next, sending documents to be signed in the ProWeb version. On the submission page of your tax return, there's an option to send the documents back to the app for the taxpayer to sign. Once you click this button, you'll see a notification that the documents have been successfully sent. After the documents have been signed by the taxpayer, the signatures will show in the program on the submission page. From here, you can transmit the tax return. Next, signing documents on iOS devices. In the app, the taxpayer will see the Sign Documents feature become available. And please note, if the taxpayer does not see the icon change or become available, they'll need to close and reopen the mobile app. When the taxpayer clicks on Sign Documents, they'll see an alert that signatures are needed. When they select the icon, they'll see a PDF of their tax return as well as a place for both taxpayer and spouse if applicable to sign. Once the taxpayer clicks Save, the signatures will be applied to all necessary forms and this information will be sent back to the program. Next, signing documents on Android devices. In the app, the taxpayer will see the Sign Documents feature become available. And please note, again, if the taxpayer does not see the icon change or become available, they'll need to close and reopen the mobile app. When the taxpayer clicks on Sign Documents, they'll see an alert that signatures are needed. When they select the icon, they'll see a PDF of their tax return as well as a place for both taxpayer and spouse, again if applicable, to sign. Once the taxpayer clicks Submit Signature, the signature will be applied to all necessary forms and this information will be sent back to the program. Next, pulling a branded app return into the desktop version of the software. 
To pull a branded app return into the desktop, you'll need to click on the mobile phone icon at the top of the main page of your program. This will generate a list of all branded app clients that have not been claimed in the program. To begin a return, double click on the client from the list and from there you'll complete the return as normal. To access the uploaded documents from the mobile app, you'll need to go into Personal Information and select View Current Year Tax Return PDFs. This will open a paper cut window with all the uploaded documents from the app. To open, you'll need to double click to open each file. Next, we'll discuss pulling a generic app return into the desktop version of the software. To pull a generic app return into desktop, you'll need to click on the Tools drop-down from the main page of the program. From there, click on the Pull from Pro App option. This screen will prompt you to put in the taxpayer's email address and six-digit code that was provided to them inside the app. After you click OK, you'll complete the return as usual. To access the uploaded documents from the mobile app, you'll need to go into Personal Information and select View Current Year Tax Return PDFs. This will open a paper cut window with all the uploaded documents from the app. To open, you'll need to double click to open each file. Next, using the chat feature in the desktop version. The chat feature in desktop is available at the top of the program by clicking on the Taxes to Go chat icon. When there are new chats, it will show as a notification. This feature is only available for the clients once you start the app return in your program. Next, sending documents to be signed in the desktop version. On the receipt menu when exiting the tax return, there's an option to send the documents back to the app for the taxpayer to sign. Once you click this button, you'll need to select which documents you wish to send to the mobile app for the taxpayer to sign. After the taxpayer signs the documents, the program will show the signature on file. From here, you can transmit the return. Next, signing documents on iOS devices. In the app, the taxpayer will see the Sign Documents feature become available. And please note, if the taxpayer does not see the icon change or become available, they need to close the app and reopen the mobile app. When the taxpayer clicks on Sign Documents, they'll see an alert that signatures are needed. When they select the icon, they'll see a PDF of their tax return as well as a place for both taxpayer and spouse if applicable to sign. Once the taxpayer clicks Save, the signature will be applied to all necessary forms and this information will be sent back to the program. Next, signing documents on Android devices. In the app, the taxpayer will see the Sign Documents feature become available. And again, if the taxpayer does not see the icon change or become available, they need to close and reopen the mobile app. When the taxpayer clicks on Sign Documents, they'll see an alert that signatures are needed. When they select the icon, they'll see a PDF of the tax return as well as a place for both taxpayer and spouse to sign. Once the taxpayer clicks Submit Signature, the signature will be applied to all necessary forms and this information will be sent back to the program. And now a few Taxes to Go frequently asked questions. How do my customers get the branded app? Your customers will get your branded app by using the custom referral link 
that's created in Account Hub. After they put in their information in the referral link, the app will be branded once they log in. How long does it take for a return to show in my branded app queue after it's submitted? This process is nearly instantaneous. If a user sends you their documents and you don't see them in your program, please close and reopen the program. Why don't I see my branded app in the App Store? Your branded app will not be shown in the App Store. The branding is just a filter over the base Taxes to Go app. The branding is applied when the user logs into the app with the information entered on the referral link screen. Will information from last year's app pull forward into this year? No. For security purposes, every year we completely build the app from the ground up. Any information entered by the user into the app is only specific to the current year. Does the information from the documents automatically upload into the data fields in the program? The information from the documents will not automatically pull into the programs. You'll need to view or print the documents to complete the tax return. Can I create a new app account with the same email and phone number? Taxes to go accounts are created based on email address. You cannot use the same email for more than one account. You can, however, use the same phone number. I pulled the app return into the program, but I need to restart. Can I pull it again? Yes, in both programs, if you delete or deactivate the return, it will go back into the queue for you to pull again. For branded apps, you'll see it back in the list available to claim. For generic apps, you'll use the same email address and six-digit code to repull. My customer accidentally downloaded the generic app. Can I switch it to branded? Unfortunately, once the account has been created, there isn't a way to switch from generic to branded. The user will need to uninstall the app and create a new account with a different email. We want to thank you for watching. This TaxLayer Pro training video on the Taxes to Go mobile app working with app submitted returns within the tax software.